All right, so today we are taking a look at this external hard drive sent to me by New Q, and it is a one terabyte external hard drive. And you also have a two terabyte external hard drive, and these things are super nice. But before we ever make any decisions about purchasing something, we need to answer several questions. Number one, how does it work? Number two, can I really afford this? Will this save me time? Is it worth it? Questions like that, that I'm gonna to try to help you answer today. So this is a one terabyte external hard drive and what it does is it connects to your phone and it also connects to your computer so that you can transfer all of your data from your phone, which is your pictures, your videos, the things that are taking up all of that space and you can put them on an external hard drive. Then if you want to, you can move them over to a computer or you can view them on the computer. Also, you can take your pictures that are on your computer and you can transfer them to the external hard drive and keep it all in one place so that you're saving your hard drive space on your computer and on your phone. Now, what you get with this is your transfer cable, which is your SATA transfer cable, and that's gonna to connect to the hard drive and then it's also gonna to connect to your computer and that's gonna be, you can see that it's blue in there, so that's gonna be a high-speed transfer. You also do get a USB-A to a USB mini so that you can charge and then you also get an adapter here so that you can use your USB-C to USB-C or your USB-C uh, to your lightning cable and use it on your Android or your Apple products. Now today I'm gonna to be using the uh, the cable that come with my phone, Samsung S23. It's really got a lot of neat little features here that I think that need to be explained so that you understand how to use this properly. Now you do have a card reader right here on the side. You also do have your USB hub and your SATA hub and then a, a power button. So you can use this not just as a hard drive but you can also use it as a charging device for your phone. Now there are four rubber feet on the back so that you can just set that on your desk and it can be just a stationary hard drive external from your computer or from your phone. So the first thing you need to do is download the new Q app and get that installed on your phone. So after we have the app installed on the phone, we're going to go ahead and open it up. It's going to be second row here, new Q drive, and we're going to open that up. And then we're going to connect our phone and we're going to use the adapter here. So let me explain what we are looking at here. Starting at the top, we are looking at HDD or which is your hard your new Q hard drive and it's showing the space that is on the hard drive and you can see that's 931.5 gigabytes left which is a one terabyte drive now the only thing that's on here right now is a backup folder so that you can back up all of your 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 photos all of your videos and things of that nature when we come down here to the functional management you see picture video audio and documents these are the things that we can transfer from our phone to the uh, to the hard drive now when I open up picture there's nothing there uh, video there's nothing there audio nothing and documents there's nothing but we will be adding to those here momentarily bottom row we have home HDD uh, album, which we can create an album. Then we go to the phone and the settings. Now, two things that you need to understand here. HDD is going to show you what's on the new Q external hard drive. And there is a backup folder. And in that backup folder is nothing. There's nothing in there. It's just connected to the phone and created the folder. Back on the home screen, when we click phone, it's gonna open up everything that's on our phone. These are all of our videos that are on the phone. These are all of the audios that are on the phone, the pictures that are on the phone. Everything that's on the phone is now showing up. Just because we're connected to the external hard drive, it doesn't mean that it's on the hard drive. What we need to do is, is choose the pictures or the albums that we want to transfer or back up to the external hard drive, and then we'll be able to see them on the hard drive and we'll be able to see them on the computer. So here's how we do it. I wanna to go to my pictures and I got a few pictures down here. These are actually screenshots. And what I wanna do is up in the upper right hand corner, I want to select that, uh, that button up at the top and then I'm just going to pick these few pictures right here. And then I got a few down here that we're gonna pick. And then down in the lower left, I'm gonna to copy two. Now when I copy to, I can copy it to the backup or I can create a folder. My suggestion is that you create a folder and I'm just going to call this folder uh, pictures. Just so, just for the sake of this video, then I'm gonna click confirm and now I, want, now I want to select that folder and then click confirm. And you can see that it's gonna transfer all of those pictures, those 15 pictures. What we're gonna do now is from the home, we can click picture 
and we can see these are the 15 pictures that I've transferred. So what I wanna show you is that they're not just on my phone, they are actually on the hard drive. And it recognizes it immediately. Right over here it says new queue backup and picture. So I'm just gonna open up the new queue and uh, we have our two folders right here. I know it's very difficult for you to see just because of the uh, filter that I have on my, uh, on my screen. But uh, let me go ahead and zoom in for you. There, there you can see. There's 15 pictures across that top row. Pictures that were on my phone and now are on the hard drive. And the thing about this is I can take this wherever I go. Now it's not just for pictures. I can also transfer videos. And being a videographer, being a creator, I have a ton, a ton of videos. And so if I wanted to clear up my space, typically what I do is every day I have to delete videos off of my off of my phone to make space. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we, we are going to go into our video folder. And these are all the videos that are on my phone right now. And what I can do, 154 videos in just a flash, I can click, click that button up at the top right and then I can click select all create folder now we're transferring 154 videos okay so for the sake of this video you see that i've got five of those transferred uh, it's going to take a long time to transfer 154 videos so i'm going to x this out and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and connect this to the computer and see how many of those actually did transfer and now i got a video folder and in that video folder there are there are actually five videos that did transfer. Just a couple of minutes there. And again, I got 154 videos, so it's gonna take a lot of time to transfer those. Questions, will this save me time? Absolutely. Is it worth it? I think that if you are, are taking a lot of photographs or a lot of videos, you want to get those off of your hard drive from your phone. You also want to get them off of your computer. And having an external hard drive is, in my opinion, an absolute necessity. And uh, uh, the new Q external hard drive, I think that it is a great investment for photographers, videographers, and um, content creators. You're definitely, definitely going to need something for your hard drive space and the new Q external hard drive is a great idea and a great investment for you.